but now third down chirp gets to make a Ball State alum proud. We're going to make David Letterman proud because we got our own top 10 list here on third down chirp, but it's the top 10 plays of the Ball State football season, and let's get it going. And it's going to start at number 10 with a guy who's made a lot of great plays this year, and that is none other than Jordan Williams against Miami of Ohio, 72 yards right before halftime. Puts Ball State up big, and Jordan Williams on the day. He finished with five receptions for 161 yards and two touchdowns. That game put him over 1,000 yards receiving on the year, Zach. Number nine comes from that Northern Illinois game. Jordan Lynch fires a pass downfield, but here comes Eric Patterson to strip it, and Brian Jones recovers, keeping Ball State in that game on national TV against Northern Illinois. Number eight, we go all the way back to week one against Illinois State as Jared Barnett drops back. Eric Patterson will tip it, and then it's picked off by Ben Engle, and he returns it down the near sideline. The only interception this season for Ben Engle as he takes the hit there on the sideline. Ben Engle, huge on the Ball State defense this year. Number seven, okay, who says just Scott Secor goes out, does kicks off, and kicks field goals? Right here against Miami of Ohio, the last game of the regular season. Scott Secor with a booming hit and forces a fumble, which allows Ball State to get another touchdown before halftime. Scott Secor with the huge hit on special teams. Number six comes from that rainy Central Michigan ESPN2 game. The first of many plays from Willie Sneed on the countdown, basically being tackled out of bounds, still comes up with a huge catch to lead to the Ball State win over the rival Central Michigan. Number five, we stay with Willie Sneed against Akron. Look at the grab here. Only needs one hand. Look at the focus. Look at the hands. In the court of the end zone, Sneed's in at number five. And if he doesn't catch that, that hits me right in the face. Number four on the countdown, top 10. All Ball State fans remember this. Deadlocked at 24 in the third quarter against Virginia until Jawan Edwards with a big touchdown run. The celebration would follow as Ball State upset Virginia by 21 points, Zach. Staying in that same game, Luke, Keith winning, trying to find someone downfield. Well, just go ahead and throw it up to who? Willie Sneed goes vertical over the Virginia defender and comes up with a huge grab. Number two, we go back to the Miami game, the season finale. It's Jamil Smith with the acrobatic catch. Check it out here. How does he do it? Only the 5'7 wide receiver goes up top and makes the grab, twisting backwards. And number one, arguably the biggest catch on the season for Willie Sneed. Maybe the catch that saved the season as Willie Sneed, the seven yard reception, which got the huge win for Ball State over Kent State. And that ends the top 10 plays of the year.